Monahan baseline jumper from six. Good. It's time for live sports coverage on the NCW Life Channel. Tonight's basketball action is brought to you in part by our platinum sponsor, Alpine Heating and Cooling in Wenatchee. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Our gold sponsor, Town Auto Group. Sponsorship also includes Abby's Pizza, Apple Valley Honda, Biosports Physical Therapy, Clean Air Connection, Coldwell Banker Cascade, Confluence Health, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Inland Northwest Honda Dealers, Kennedy Real Estate Group, Les Schwab, Sangster Motors, Save Mart, Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue, Together for Youth, and the Wenatchee Valley Technical Skills Center. Now let's go live to the gym for high school basketball on the NCW Live Channel, your local TV station. Side the three point line, no it isn't, it's a three and it's good. Good evening basketball fans and welcome to Eastmont High School where we have the second of two games that we've got on the broadcast here tonight as the Eastmont Wildcats play host to the Wenatchee Panthers, the Cross River rivalry renewed. We're going to get right to our TC Slingers coaches interview. Ambrose Bissett taking over the Wenatchee program. And for anybody that knows anything about basketball in North Central Washington, this guy is a name to know from back in the day up in OMAC and talk about coming down here and taking over the Panther program this year. Yeah, really happy to be excited or really happy to be a part of this program you know I know there's a rich history and we're just looking forward to making a positive impact and and getting things going in the right direction I know your program scrappy uh, you know defensive minded talk about what you're trying to implement here for the Panthers yeah so offensively you know we had kind of a, a coming alive moment where we had a couple guys you know knock down some shots that normally weren't falling and defensively we're looking to bring an in-your-face defensive man-to-man uh, -man that you know, we just ball pressure all day long. So, talk about that step of going from Umac, coming here and, and learning this the 4A and the Big Nine and all that, and, and this rivalry with Eastmont. Yeah, no, I know there's a rich history between the schools, and and I'm excited to be a part of it. And you know, I know there's some high level basketball being played, so we're we're looking to keep that going and and make sure that we're 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 moving in the right direction. From what you know about these guys, what's your big key for tonight? I know they're athletic. They're big. Um, you know. We got to keep them off the glass. Um, you know they're going to knock down shots uh, if they're open, and so we got to make sure we're taking away taking away airspace and and making sure we're getting back on defense. Well, best of luck here tonight. Thanks for taking the time and keep everybody healthy. Most importantly, all right, appreciate it, Eric. Thank you. Ambrose Bissett joining us here on the pregame show. We'll come back and uh, get the uh, head coach for the Wildcats, George Juarez. That's coming up next here on the NCW Live Channel. Introducing Alpine Air Man. Because every home needs a superhero to eliminate poor indoor air quality, send inefficient operating equipment packing, and cut high energy bills down to size. For heating or cooling and equipment replacement, turn to the experts and the superheroes at Carrier and Alpine Air. We offer the best deals on high efficiency Carrier products, along with friendly, knowledgeable service and incredible savings to fit your budget. At Confluence Health, our mission is clear, to provide exceptional care for our community. We believe in health care that's personal and local because we're just like you, members of this great community. We are Confluence. Local care by and for our community. Local care by and for our community. Local care by and for our community. We are Confluence. Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue, family owned and operated on North Wenatchee Avenue, right next to Hooked on Toys. Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue uses only fresh ingredients handcrafted with love, including authentic Hawaiian barbecue and Japanese style ramen noodle soups. And the bubble teas will keep you coming back for more. Enjoy the culinary tour of the Pacific Rim with Hawaiian barbecue lunches and combo plate classics, as well as ramen noodle soups. Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue, enjoy their comfort food like you're one of the family. 
Welcome back here on the pregame show on the NCW Live Channel, getting ready for Wenatchee and Eastmont. Now talking with George Juarez, the head coach for the Wildcats on our TC Slingers Coaches Show. Well, you go from battling your brother's team on Thursday to battling a very familiar team here tonight, George. What can we expect? You know, uh, you are correct. Uh, it's quite a swing. But, but I do know that rivalry games are always rivalry games. And what we anticipate is a very hard-fought game. And uh, the best, uh, best, the team that plays the best is going to win. That's the bottom line. And you know how it goes with rivalry games. Talk about what you hope to achieve here tonight for your club. I know it's early season. It's all about making those adjustments yourself, right? Right. I know that one aspect of the game that we have to really concentrate on is, is making sure we protect our possessions. We cannot give the ball over to another team, give them an opportunity offensively, and not have our offensive opportunity. So I know that that's one, executing of offense, and just playing with passion, just playing with that passion that – one needs to be successful. You talk about protecting the possessions. You said uh, when we talked earlier tonight about how Davis was just running and gunning on you and, and got fast break opportunities. I know you want to try to turn that around. Yeah, they they got a lot of points in transition. And I think that has been the focal point for quite a while for us now. And uh, we'll see how we handle the pressure tonight. Uh, you know, we're inexperienced in a lot of ways because we have uh, only two returning starters. And I'm hoping that as the season goes on, we get better at, at protecting the ball. Well, best of luck here tonight, George. Thanks for taking the time and keep everybody healthy. Thank you, and we will do that. Yeah, George Juarez joining us here on the pregame show. We'll come back into the starting lineups coming up next. It's Eastmont. It's Wenatchee. It's Big Nine Hoops right here on the NCW Live Channel. Highlander Golf Course is proud to announce their two new state-of-the-art full-swing golf simulators with over 80 courses of virtual golf to choose from year-round. Or try their laser shot simulated firearm program or gaming with football, basketball, and much more. Enjoy Highlander food and drink service from their full-service bar and grill in the comfort of their simulator room. Call the Highlander Pro Shop to book your time at 884-4653. That's 884-4653. At Kennedy Group, we understand that buying and selling is more than a transaction, and it's more than just a house. This is where you will gather with friends and family and where a lifetime of memories will be made. But buying a home is more than memories. Oftentimes, it's your biggest financial decision. The agents at Kennedy Group understand this and provide real estate advice based on your goals and dreams. Call us today and let's find your happy place. The newest generation of GMC Sierra pickups offer the most advanced technology, the strongest selection of powertrain, and everything else you need to work hard, play hard, and explore the boundaries of the Wenatchee Valley and beyond. Take a look at the latest, most luxurious and durable trucks on the market. You will see why GMC is not your grandfather's pickup. You want to bet, kid? Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from NCW Live Channel, your local TV station. We hope you're enjoying our holiday programming. From movies to your favorite music, we've got you covered. And while you gather with friends and family to watch NCW Life, we need to thank our platinum sponsor, Alpine Heating and Cooling, for helping us bring you these shows. Turn to the experts, Carrier and Alpine Air. Heat and air? Call Alpine Air. When you call Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, you're calling on 35-plus years of experience in the Wenatchee Valley. Spending extra time in your home, you may have discovered an unwanted aroma. Stinky feet, pets, who knows what. Call Dick's today about installing their Train Clean Effects Electronic Air Cleaner or a Ream Halo Ultraviolet Air Purifier. Either way, the air quality in your home will be improved. Proudly servicing all of North Central Washington, call 884-6444 today. This is the time of year we celebrate family, traditions, and great food. At Abby's, our legendary pizzas are so giant that they feed up to six happy family members. When you need a break from cooking, think Abby's. Our place or your place. Our family is here for your family. What makes Abby's triple topper so great? Pepperoni, Canadian bacon, ground beef. With these premium toppings piled to the edge, it's a whole lot of pizza on sale for a very special price. And when you give the gift of Abby's, we'll give you a present too. Good evening. 
And our coaches' interviews on the NCW Live channel brought to you by TC Slingers. Let TC Slingers save you time, money, and labor with our conveyor application. Call for your free estimate today at 509-885-2269. TC Slingers of Wenatchee, your landscape placement company. Our special thanks to our platinum sponsor of NCW Live channel programming, Alpine Air Heating and Cooling in Wenatchee. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Give them a call today at 509-662-6842. They're on the web at alpineair.net. And additional thanks to our gold sponsor, Town Auto Group. All right, let's get ready for basketball here. Second of our doubleheader on the NCW Live channel is Wenatchee, 0-2 on the season, 0-5 overall. As their head coach, Ambrose Bissett, said, uh, well, they've had some improvements. They're just not quite over the hump as of yet. He's assisted by Jake Hammonds, Eric Kuntz, and Gabe Baylor. Starters tonight are Thomas Ivey. He is a junior forward. Where's number four? Travis Torres. Watch out for him. He had 21 last night in the loss to Moses Lake. Torres, a sophomore guard. He wears number five. Luke Vargas is a senior forward. He wears number 12. Zach Bowen Jr. is a junior. Zach Bowen, that is, is a junior forward. He wears number 24. And Finn Matheson is a junior forward. He wears number 32. The non-starters for the Panthers, Zach Ritzke, Jack Clark, Gabe Patchen, Jake Devereaux, Mason Hammond, David Heisum, and Luke Hunsaker. Meanwhile, for the East Ball Wildcats, with a record of 0-1 and Big 9 play, they're 2-2 two two overall. Head coach is George Juarez. Thanks again to George for joining us on our pregame show. He's assisted by Al Leonard, Garrett Babst, and Colton St. Jean. Starters are Tice Llewellyn, 5'9", sophomore guard, wears number two. Adrian Ruffins, a 6'5", senior wing. He wears number four. Andy Hobson is a 6'6", senior wing. He wears number 24. Nate Whitehall, a 6'6", senior post. He wears number 50. And Luke Gale getting the start tonight here for the Wildcats. He is... Luke Gale is a 6'3", senior wing. So those are the starters. The non-starters here for the Wildcats tonight include Jackson West, Lucas Babst, Jet Llewellyn, Daniel Snyder, and Jackson Kenyon. So those are the lineups as we're about ready for basketball tonight. Steve Simonson is one of our officials tonight. For the Panthers, at guard, senior, number 21. I can see that. Steve's been around a long time. In fact, I was talking with Ant Ambrose Bissett. I said, man, I remember you uh, watching you play in high school uh, in uh, OMAC. And he says, yeah, that's a long time ago. I said, yes, that's how old I am. And uh, good to see Ambrose here now coaching for the Wenatchee Panthers. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Abby's Pizza. For more than 50 years, Abby's has proudly served the Northwest with toppings to the edge. 100% real cheese and freshly rolled dough. Order online at abbeys.com. Also by Alpine Air. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Give them a call today, 662-6842, or go online to alpineair.net. We'll take a break. 60 seconds on the broadcast. Come back, get you ready for the tip. It's Eastmont. It's Wenatchee. Cross River rivalry renewed. Coming up next here on the NCW Live Channel. Global Car Care has the best customer service in the Valley. From the moment you walk in the door, their goal is to help you stay on the road so you can keep doing what's important to you. Global Car Care certified ASE mechanics stand behind your automotive repairs. Hey, welcome back to Save Mart. What can we help you find today? Uh, we're looking for a mattress. Oh, right this way, we got a large selection. We have this pillow top here. Oh, comfortable. We have more to choose from down here. Oh. I think I have the perfect one over here for you. I guess we'll take this one. You find it at Wenatchee wins the tip and we're in the way and they're going to shoot a three-pointer from outside. It's no good on the shot by Bowen and a rebound picked up by Eastmont. Underway here at Eastmont High School. Second of our doubleheader tonight. Eastmont girls won the opener and here's a beautiful shot inside for Whitehall. He's got the first bucket of the ball game. 
Eastmont on top. Bowen with a drive. Kick to the corner right. Three-pointer. Good. No two-pointer. Finn Matheson for the deuce in the corner. Tied up at two. Here's a three-point launch from outside. It's no good. Battle for the rebound. Whitehall over the top, and the ball goes out of bounds. It will be out to Wodanchi. So our first tie of the ball game, other than zeros, comes right now with 7-18 to go here in the first quarter of play. Press in the backcourt as Luke Vargas will bring the ball in. He'll collect it back here, and then his pass is tipped, but then picked up on the loose ball by the uh, Panthers' Travis Torres. Now Bowen going to shoot a three. No good off the back of the iron. Rebound underneath. Picked up by Hobson. Andy Hobson's been playing since he was a freshman. Here's a three-pointer from the top of the key. Good by Tice Llewellyn. Got two Llewellyn brothers playing for Eastmont. Ball goes off of somebody out of bounds, so they had to wait and restart things here. So they do. Inbounds pass comes in to Torres. Now a lob pass ahead all by himself. Now Bowen's going to collect the ball on the weak side, but his layup is partially checked. Eastmont back running the other way. Here's a split of the lane. Ball goes out of bounds. It's off of Eastmont out of bounds. Up and down we go. A minute and a half into this first quarter of play. They break the press, does when Anchi Torres in the corner. Here's a three-pointer from the left side. It's no good. Too hard for Vargas. Rebound weak side by Eastmont. Back the other way comes Ruffins. Ruffins in the paint. Horses one up from five. It's no good. Rebound defensive for Wenatchee. Allen pass to Bowen. Bowen down in the right side corner to Matheson. Outside it comes. Torres is going to shoot the three. Go. Travis Torres with his first bucket of the night gives us a tie game at five. And now we're going to get a timeout on the floor. We will keep it here. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Apple Valley Honda. Test drive a new Honda today at Apple Valley Honda in East Wenatchee. Apple Valley Honda committed to preserving the environment, not only with fuel-efficient vehicles, but also with other eco-friendly actions and alternatives. And by Biosports Physical Therapy, Aqua Therapy, Sports Biomechanics, Orthopedic Physical Therapy, Orthotics, all you need to keep moving. Find them online at biosports.net. Open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Appreciate you joining us here on the NCW Life Channel. Eric Grantstrom with you courtside. Again, our first game of the night went the way of the Wildcats, 66-34 over Wenatchee. As uh, Eastmont's got four players in double figures in the opener tonight. So tied up at five, two ties here in the early going. Haven't had a lead change yet. We'll keep track of that. I think we might have several of those here tonight. A little pressure in the backcourt by the Panthers. Lob pass ahead. Here's a turn and then a kick and then a three from the left corner. It's no good. Bounced around, picked up offensively. Here's a wide open layup. Beautiful find on the weak side as Adrian Ruffins gets his first bucket of the ball game. 7-5 and now a turnover by Wenatchee. Eastmont trying to take advantage. Ruffins high for the rebound. Put back good. That was something that uh, Ambrose Bissett said. We've got to worry about getting the glass taken care of. And so far, Wenatchee not doing that, and then they throw it away here. So a couple of turnovers here in this last two times attempting to get down the floor by Wenatchee. 9-5, Eastmont with its largest lead here, trying to add to it. Inbounds pass to the backcourt comes in to Llewellyn. He'll give it up on the left side to, Hot, excuse me, to... We got 21 on the floor. Got to find out who that is. Here's a drive and a layup attempt. It's no good. We got uh, wrestle for the oh. rebound. Held ball call. Possession Eastmont. arrow is out to Eastmont. No uh, 21 or a 22. 22 would be Luke Gale. So I guess that was Luke. Luke has the ball, bringing it inbounds. Gets it outside to Ruffins. Ruffins will give it back to Llewellyn. Tice will run the offense here. Go high post to Ruffins. Ruffins gives it back to Llewellyn. In the corner for a three. Misses for Hobson. Rebound offensive again here for the Wildcats. As Whitehall came up with it. Give it up to Gale. Luke will dribble it out. Quarterback on the football team. He's signed with Central Washington University. Congrats to Luke. Here's a shot by Ruffins. No good. He's fouled and will head to the free throw line. 
First foul of the ball game will come against Wenatchee's for the sin number 12, Luke Vargas. So that's the first foul of the game. Two free throws for Adrian Ruffins, who has six points to lead Eastmont. Free throw, no good. One more to come here for the Wildcats 6'5 senior wing, Adrian Ruffins. The second free throw for Ruffins is no good either. Rebound underneath, picked up by Wenatchee's Luke Vargas. So Panthers trail it by four here. Here's a drive by Bowen, missed the shot, offensive rebound, put back attempt for Wenatchee. And it is no good, but foul called. And so we'll get a free throw here. The foul is whistled on Whitehall. That's his first. Wenatchee's at the point here in the season where they can list as many people as they want on their varsity roster. So they've done so. So they've got more guys than I can put on my score sheet. So that's why I'm fumbling around trying to find the name of Austin Bromley. So Bromley in there who wears number 21. And he missed the first free throw, looking for the second here. And hold on, we got a whistle. And apparently a violation by Wenatchee as they call it on Bowen. So they want him to get the chance to shoot the free throw. Well, the Panthers, Bromley, now Eastmont transition. Get it wide open to Whitehall underneath and an easy bucket for Nate Whitehall. He's got four, make it a six point lead for Eastmont, 11-5. Lob pass across, kick it back to Bowen. He'll shoot the three, good. No, two, they say it was on the line. So a two pointer for Zach Bowen. And Monanchi needed that bucket badly right there. Whitehall, outside it comes. Llewellyn looks to Split the defense, man defense here for Wenatchee in this early going. Left side to Hobson. He's cut off on the baseline in the corner. Ball stripped away, goes out of bounds, and they say it went off of Andy Last. So that's a turnover for Eastmont, their first here, unofficially in this first quarter of play. 3.50 to go, halfway through the first frame. Here's another three by Bowen. Good! So five points for Bowen, and just like that makes it a one-point game. Uh, Ruffins underneath, wide open, wide hall, just transition, and that's what uh, Coach Bissett said he needed to watch out for. Here's a two, long two, good. From outside by Finn Matheson, he's got six points, 13-12. Up and down the floor we go. Llewellyn picked up by Bowen. Llewellyn, top of the key, lob pass across to Gale. Lob it inside, Ruffins, turn around, shot off the window, no good. Rebound, fought for, battled for, picked up underneath by Bromley, and it goes out of bounds off of Eastmont. Substitutions here for Eastmont as Jet Llewellyn comes in. So too does Matthew Bender. Inbounds pass comes in to Bowen. Bowen splits the defense and they got numbers now and we're gonna get the ball fumbled away and given away by Wenatchee. Three turnovers here for the Panthers. Had a golden opportunity, it looked like they had numbers. Here's a shot by Llewellyn at the free throw line, good. Dice Llewellyn's got five, Eastmont on top, 15-12. Now a steal. Here's Ruffins, tried to jam it, but instead will just lay it up good as Ruffins has six in the quarter. Now another steal. Here's another shot and count the bucket and one. Eastmont taking charge here as the bucket will go for Jet Llewellyn and one. Foul was whistled on Torres, his first. That's three turnovers in a row for Wenatchee. And now we're going to get a timeout taken by Coach Bissett. We will take a 30-second break as well. 2.25 to go in the first. 19-12, our score, Eastmont on top. You're watching Big Nine Basketball on the NCW Life Channel. Allergens. You can't see them, but they live in your carpet and your air ducts. 
Call the experts at Clean Air Connection for a clean, healthy living environment. Experience, education, and the right equipment equals the best cleaning job possible. Call Clean Air Connection today. Pet dander, allergens, dust, and pollen? Trust your home's carpet and duct cleaning to the experienced experts at Clean Connection. This locally owned family business educates their staff and uses only the best equipment. Call Clean Air Connection today. Okay. Turnover is relieved, re, uh, resulting in points for Eastmont. Difference right now is the Cats lead at 19 12 over the Panthers. Free throw coming up on the and one here for Eastmont and for Jet Llewellyn. Trying to make it a three point play. Jet has come in and immediately made a difference. Free throw up, no good. Rebound picked up by Wenatchee. I'll let pass to Bowen. Eastmont drops back defensively. They get it ahead. Now bounce pass wide open underneath. Bromley, good. 19-14 the score. Now up the floor, Jet Llewellyn dribbling it, and he is bumped by the defense. And they'll call the foul here on Wenatchee's David Heisen. That's his first. Third team foul. Again, uh, fouls reset after the first quarter. But once you get five, that means two free throws. There's no more one and one in high school basketball. Left side, Llewellyn gives it to his brother, Tice. Tice on the drive. He'll stop. Feed it outside. Crossover step. Outside it comes to Jackson West. West wearing the ought number on his chest. And we're going to get a foul called and kind of bailing out Eastmont because the time the shot clock was winding down. Foul was whistled on Travis Torres. That's his second. Substitution Torres comes out into the ball game. Checks Jake Devereaux with minute 45 to go here in this first quarter. Eastmont basketball. Inbounds pass by West comes outside to Llewellyn. Jet feeds it to his brother. He'll take the three. Good. Tice Llewellyn with his second tray of the ball game. He's got eight points, and then Wenatchee turns it right back over again. Here comes Llewellyn down on the corner for a three. It's an air ball from West. Jackson West can't find the distance, but Eastmont offensive rebound. Tice Llewellyn out top, stops at the elbow, kicks it off to Jackson West. Now he'll hand it off to Jet Llewellyn. A minute 13 to go here in the first quarter. Here's another three. He rims and falls good. Tice Llewellyn draining three three-pointers here in the first quarter. The defense comes and a timeout asked for by Bowen and given to the young man. We'll keep it right here. Our broadcast on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by Clean Air Connection. Keep your carpet, area rugs, upholstery, and air ducts clean for a healthier environment inside your home. Call Clean Air Connection today at yourcleanconnection.com. Also by Coldwell Banker Cascade. Been helping the uh, people in North Central Washington with real estate for over 40 years. Coldwell Banker Cascade Real Estate guiding you home in North Central Washington. And by Confluence Health. High quality care, close to home, Confluence Health, dedicated to improving their patients' health with safe, high quality care in 12 communities. Eric Grantstrom here live from Eastmont High School tonight as we bring you Big Nine basketball. It'll be our last broadcast of the year for sports. We'll take a little break and then come back the 5th of January on a Friday night at Wenatchee High School. Grant will be courtside for your play-by-play -play as the Panthers host the Davis Pirates. We'll have the girls on the stream at 5.30, the boys to follow on TV and the stream at 7 o'clock. And then the following Monday will be Apple Blossom Filled as we'll have the get to know you for the candidates vying for the top 10 with the Apple Blossom Festival Royal Court. We'll have that on Monday, the 8th of January, starting at 5.30 on the stream here on the NCW Life Channel. Inbounds pass comes in. Wenatchee tries to break it. Ball fumbled around, picked up by Bowen. He'll feed ahead, and right wide open is uh, Devereaux, but he lost the ball. They'll hand it back, and the layup is up and good by Bromley. Bromley with four points off the bench here for the Panthers. Needed it. 25-16 the score. 
The 11 points was the largest lead moments ago for Eastmont. West out top to Whitehall. Left side to Llewellyn. He'll drive it. He'll shoot it. And the ball knocked away from him. He kept it alive. Kicks it in the corner for a three. Good. The ball was shot from the left corner by Matthew Bender. Now in the corner for Wenatchee's three. It's no good from outside taken by Matheson. The offensive rebound, but we're going to get a travel call on Bowen before he can make the drive with four seconds to go. Another turnover by Wenatchee's seven here in this first quarter. Suddenly a 12-point lead here for Eastmont, their largest. 28 to 16. Inbounds pass comes in at midcourt with three, with two, with one. Shot at the buzzer won't go. That'll be the final play of our first quarter with Eastmont leading it 28 to 16. And we'll take a one-minute break and come back. You're watching Big Nine Basketball on the NCW Live Channel. Are you dealing with a pest or weed issue and you just don't know what to do? We use the best pest control methods approved for areas with kids and pets. Whether it's rats, mice, ants, or spiders, or something else altogether. We provide the coaching and solutions you're looking for. And you can know that your dollars are supporting a local, family-owned, and operated business. Allow us to help you get back to living healthy and pest-free. Harvest Valley Pest Control. At Coldwell Banker, their people, their company, are cut from a different cloth. They see, hear, sense, and feel things that other people don't. They have a unique appreciation for the thing called home. Because of this dedication, Coldwell Banker has thrived for over a century. This is why they are ranked number one on Agent Trust. Coldwell Banker. They do real estate with higher standards and have been guiding people home since 1906. Our officials for tonight's game, Steve Simonson, Mike Gold, and Paul Weddle. This is how long I've been doing basketball play-by-play. -play. It's uh, I think Paul had hair when <laughs> I first started doing games. Of course, I had hair, too, so I can't talk much. Here we go, second quarter with Hatchie basketball as Bowen will work it around the perimeter against a zone defense here for the Wildcats. Dump pass underneath. Here's a shot from outside by Torres. It's missed. Offensive rebound. They'll kick it outside to Bowen. Go back around the horn. Here's Matheson for two. It's no good. Rebound defensive for Eastmont. Transition opportunity. Layup. No good. And we're going to get technical foul called. Or what are we going to get? So, no. Uh, cylinder interference is what that is. Basket interference on Eastmont. So it's not a foul, not a technical foul. It didn't hang on the rim. <clears throat> but uh, it is a turnover for the Wildcats. So Wenatchee basketball. Lob pass across to Bowen. Looked at the three. He's got a couple threes in the ballgame so far. Here's a drive by Matheson. Here's a shot from outside. It almost sticks in the corner of the elbow of the iron. And a shot missed from outside by Vargas. But uh, ball go out to Wenatchee. Inbounds pass will come in left side underneath the bucket from Bromley. He'll uh, give it up, and now a three in the corner. Shot missed by Torres. Rebound by Eastmont. Wildcats quick in transition. Get back on the offensive end very, very quickly. Pass across. Ruffin's back in there now. We'll give it up down in the corner. Back outside to Llewellyn. Trey will reset the offense. Go left side with it to Bender. Inside, outside. Here's the three from Bender. Wims won't fall. Offensive rebound. Put back by Llewellyn's missed. Another put back. No good. Another put back on the way. Good by Ruffins. Ruffins now with eight points of the ball game. Valuable minutes here for the big fella for Eastmont. Here's a three from the corner. It's a long air ball. No good by Vargas. Eastmont with the basketball. Bounce pass across the lane. You never want to do that, kiddos. If you're watching at home, never bounce pass on a fast break across the paint. That's where the bad guys are. Turnover by Eastmont. They're second, and now we're going to get a blocking foul called against the Wildcats underneath, and this will be against Bender, I believe. It is. 
First foul against Bender, only the second team foul for Eastmont in the game. Again, the, feet, the team fouls reset at the end of every quarter. You get five per quarter, and then if you go past five, that means the other team gets to shoot two free throws. Wholesale substitutions for Coach Juarez here. We'll get all those bodies in a moment. First, it's inbounds play. Matheson will collect it in the backcourt. Needs to bring it across the midcourt stripe. They've got new time clock here, shot clock for Wenatchee. Matheson stops, needs help. Cross-court pass near side. Inside the drive, and they lose it, and they turn it right over. So another turnover for Wenatchee. Panthers give it up to the Wildcats. Here's a three from Hobson. It's no good. He just checked back in. Rebound defensively for Wenatchee. Bromley comes up with it. Lob pass. Hit the official. Goes out of bounds. And he is part of the floor at that point. And so that is a turnover by the Panthers. Also in for Eastmont, I should say, is Daniel Snyder. He's the one wearing number 40, carrying the ball right now. Left side, it goes to Hobson. Beautiful pass inside for Adrian Ruffins. He'll lay it up and good. Ruffins with 10 points. First double-figure scorer of the ball game. Travis Torres runs the offense. Outside it comes. Torres collects it back down in the corner. Tries to drive, spit the defense. Now a long three from the top of the key. Good from outside by Zach Ritzke. Off the bench for a tray. For Ritzke. Needed that bucket, did what Anchi badly. 4 32 19. Now we're going to get a foul underneath. And they're going to call it on Eastmont. It'll go over to Wenatchee. And the foul is going to be whistled on Nate Whitehall, I believe. That's number two on Whitehall. Number two against the Cats here in this quarter. Just over five minutes left in this first half. 20-32-19 our score. Wenatchee desperately needing buckets and stops. Now they got a chance on the offensive end. Wraparound attempt on the pass is hitting a leg and then trying to reach down and grab hold of it was Bromley, but he was laying down on the end line as he does so. So that's a turnover. Ten now to just two, the turnover differential between Wenatchee and Eastbound. Lob pass in the corner. Here's a three-pointer on the way. Rattles in. Good for Luke Gale. That's his first bucket of the ball game. Wenatchee on the offensive set, and we're going to get a reaching foul, I think, on Ruffins here. Yep. Foul on Adrian is his first. That's the fourth team foul. Again, two teams coming off of losses. Wenatchee at home last night at Moses Lake. Eastmont on the road Thursday at Davis. Turnaround shot for Wenatchee is good from the free throw line. I'll have to get that uh, body's name again as they've got another one off the bench. That's Isaac Black with the two. Eastmont from the corner. Hobson for three. Good. Oh, my. Seems that for every two that when Edgy scores, Eastmont counters with a three. Black again. Free throw shot. No good. And it's going to go out of bounds out to Eastmont. So 42 out there on the floor for Wenatchee is Isaac Black. Another three from the corner for Eastmont, and right there underneath to bail out the bad shot is the Wildcats, and they'll give it up to Ruffin, who skies up for the little bunny. He's got six in the quarter, 12 of the ball game. Does Adrian Ruffin's 21 or make that 19 point lead for Eastmont? Trying to run it out here again. Hobson ahead. Dribbles behind his back. Gives it up to Ruffins. Adrian down in the corner for Hobson. Inside of Whitehall. Turn, shot, fouled, free throws. That'll be the first foul on Black. The first team foul here in this quarter for the Panthers. And Nate Whitehall will get two free throws. Eastmont 0 for 2 from the line in the first quarter and make it 1 for 3 now as Whitehall drains the first one. Substitutions here for Wenatchee. More bodies off the bench. James Butler, number 15, comes in. So too does Jake Devereaux back in the lineup here for 
Coach Bissett, second free throw, rims won't fall. Offensive rebound, however, across to Ruffins. He'll put it off the window, no good. Whitehall, strong rebound, put back. He's fouled again, will get more chances at the line. Foul is whistled on the young man who just checked back in, James, or, excuse me, James Butler. So Butler with a foul. First of two free throws, good. Got the friendly bounce there to Nate Whitehall. He's two for three from the line and give him six points of the ball game. He's got one more to go. Second free throw from Whitehall, no good, but an offensive rebound yet again. My oh my. Wildcats looking to cash in. Gale out top it comes. They work it on the perimeter. Hobson with it now. Comes near side over to Snyder. That ball knocked away and picked up by the Panthers. Turnover, the third of the first half here for the Wildcats. Dribbling, Jake Devereaux down in the corner. Here's a kick ball that goes all the way up to a, almost our camera in the top row. <laughs> Substitution here for Eastmont. Coming in to the lineup is Matthew Bender. Fans giving a credit to somebody in the stands who came up with that basketball that was punted up into the stands. 2.42 to go here in the first half. All Wildcats leading the Panthers 42-21. They've got a kick ball called, and it'll be a new shot clock for Wenatchee. Substitution here for the Wildcats as uh, in is Jet Llewellyn again. Also back in is Tice Llewellyn. So the Llewellyn brothers back in here. Meanwhile, inbounds pass will be by Austin Bromley. He'll bring it in to Torres. Torres bounce pass high. Now to Devereaux, back to Torres, over in the side. Dribble step to Devereaux. Drive, shot from the inside the paint, good. <laughs> Devereaux's first points of the game. Makes it a 2:50 or a 42-23 game with 2.13 left here in the first half. Llewellyn. Elbow, Hobson, good. Boy, that's a pretty looking shot for Andy Hobson. He's got five now in the quarter. Down in the corner for Devereaux. Outside to Torres, long three. Rims won't fall. Rebound picked up defensively. They'll feed it ahead. Tice Llewellyn lays it up, good. Llewellyn with 13 here in this first half. Eastmont running and gunning here in this one. Bromley running the offense, gives it up to Torres. Bounce pass to Devereaux, looking inside, looking inside. Stops, cut off by the double team. Here's a shot by Torres, off balance, no good. Tapped the rebound, picked it up by Devereaux. He'll drive in the paint, shoot it from the free throw line, banks it in. I don't know if he called it or not, but he'll take it to the bank. Four points for Devereaux, 46-25. Tice Llewellyn, top of the key. He'll pass it off to brother Jet. Hand it back. Give it back to Jet. He'll shoot the three. Rainbow shot. No good. Rebound. Devereaux was busy blocking out but didn't grab the ball. And now it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be out to Eastmont. Bowen comes in replacing Torres for Wenatchee. And Jackson West will come in for Eastmont to replace Andy Hobson. Minute two to go. West inbounds underneath. Kick it outside. Here's a three. Good. Jet Tice Llewellyn with another three pointer. He's got four three pointers in the game, five in the quarter. He's got 16 in the ball game. Minutes, one left. They got to start the clock. They finally did here. Ball tipped as it was going out of bounds. It'll go off of Eastmont. It'll be a Wenatchee basketball. Zach Ritzke is over there behind Bowen. Bringing in the ball will be Bromley. He'll get it into Bowen. Bowen has hit a couple of long threes in this game so far. This ball tipped by Llewellyn. He's got a two-on-one. He'll take it. Pass it off to Jet. Lay it up good. Jet Llewellyn's got four. Beneficiary of a hustle play by his bro. 12 turnovers for Wenatchee in the ball game. Shot taken. Missed. Rebound. Defensive Eastmont on the run again. Down in the corner it goes. Gale. Then a push from behind, and that's a good call by the official. As Jet Llewellyn was working down low, 
And he was pushed from the backside by one of the Wildcats here. That's James Butler. That'll be the second foul on Butler here in reserve. 29.4 seconds left. Shot clock is off now. Bounce pass inside, turning, fall away jumper, no good. Offensive rebound, no good on the putback. West can't squeeze it, and the ball loose, and we're going to foul call, and let's see who it's on. It will be on Wadanchi, I believe it is. Foul is on. Is that on Butler again? Holy cow, that's three in a row on Butler. Inbounds pass comes in with 17 on the game clock. Again, shot clock is off. Tice Llewellyn backs it away. Man defense here for Wenatchee. Tice on the drive. Puts it up with the right hand for the left side. No good. Rebound defensive for Wenatchee. Panthers have numbers. They feed it across. Wide open. Butler for the lay-in. Good. So Butler, he got three fouls, but he get, did, did get two points. Kind of stops the bleeding a little bit here. As Eastmont will take it into the locker room with a 51-27 lead here over the Wenatchee Panthers. We'll take a two-minute break and come back. You're watching Big Nine Basketball tonight here on the NCAA Life Channel. Hey, man. How's your arm? Uh, getting better, actually. Thanks. Did they give you anything for pain after surgery? Because I think I may have some left over. Nah, that's all right, man. Actually, me and my doctor talked about not sharing prescriptions, and that ibuprofen is a good option for me. The risk of addiction is not worth it. Makes sense. Take the next step. Don't share your prescriptions, and talk to your friends about the dangers of opioids. Hey, hon, would you run this around to the wash rack? Oh, OK. Hey, hon, what happened? They shrunk the truck. The all-new Midsize Canyon is now available at Sangster Motors. The agents of Kennedy Real Estate Group are committed to providing the ideal client experience. We believe in the power of relationships. Why? Because we don't just work here, we live here. From the nonprofits we serve, the parks where we play, and the local businesses we support, our team understands the value of living in the Wenatchee Valley. Let's begin your real estate story. The Wenatchee Valley. Here, most of us really enjoy the great outdoors, and most of us try to make the most of our natural resources. Here at Apple Valley Honda, we know that for generations, we have harnessed nature to sustainably power the West, and we are proud to be part of that tradition as an environmentally green dealership award winner. Being a green dealership means Apple Valley Honda has reduced our overall environmental impact. We are so proud to live in this wonderful community. Welcome back once again here to Eastmont High School. They're trying to figure out a little audio issue with the music for our halftime entertainment as the Eastmont Cheer Squad will try to entertain. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, providing heating and air conditioning service and installation since 1982. Serving residential and commercial, they specialize in indoor air quality installation service and repair. Also by Global Car Care, your vehicle is their number one priority. Diesels and European cars are their specialty. Pick up and drop off available too. Stop by the website at globalcarcare.net and by Harvest Valley Pest Control. You can rest assured Harvest Valley Pest Control uses kid and pet safe material around your home or office. Call Harvest Valley Pest Control today for your free estimate at 509-423-2207. And boy, the Wildcats have come out just on fire here in this one tonight, scoring 28 points in the first quarter, 23 in the second quarter to lead it here 51-27 at halftime. Wenatchee was 16 points in the first quarter, 11 in the second quarter, and uh, trail it here. Turnover is the big issue, as well as Eastmont on the uh, attack offensively. Transition buckets, uh, definitely a big part of this one, as uh, Eastmont has led it the whole way here, including this 14-point uh, lead here at the half. Unofficial scoring in this one. First for the Wenatchee Panthers, Finn Matheson leading the way for Wenatchee with six points, five points for Zach Bowen. 
Uh, four points for Jake Dever off the bench, and that was all late in the going in that second quarter. Travis Torres with three. Zach Ritzke with three. Two points for Isaac Black and two for James Butler. The Panthers... 0 of 2 from the free throw line. That's it. Just two free throws shot for the Panthers in that first quarter of play. Meanwhile, Eastmont led by 16 points for Tyce Llewellyn. He's got four three-pointers in the game here so far. 12 points for Adrian Ruffins. Six points for Nate Whitehall. Five for Andy Hobson. Four for Jet Llewellyn. Three points for Matthew Bender and three for Luke Gale. Eastmont in the uh, first half of play was uh, 2 of 5 from the free throw line. 0 for 2 in the first quarter and 2 of 3 in the second quarter. <coughs> turnovers unofficially in the ball game. 12 turnovers for Wenatchee in that first half. Just 3 for Eastmont. Had two ties in the early going, but it was uh, all Eastmont after that as they post a 51-27 lead here at the half. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Highlander Golf Course and Grill. Plan your next tournament and event today. Call the Pro Shop to schedule your time on the Full Swing S4 widescreen golf simulators at 509-884-4653. Also by Inland Northwest Honda dealers, including Apple Valley Honda in East right. Wenatchee. And by Kennedy Real Estate Group. They're more than selling houses. They're building communities, buying or selling. Call Kennedy Real Estate Group online at kennedygroup.com. Back with more here at halftime where Eastmont leads Wenatchee 51-27. You're watching Big Nine Basketball on the NCW Live Channel. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of it in a new Honda. Whether it's taking the gang to the slopes in an available all-wheel drive pilot, delivering presents in a rugged passport, or all in a few toys for yourself in a powerful ridgeline. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. NCW Life Channel is your local TV station. We believe in being the spotlight and mirror to the communities we serve in North Central Washington. Programming on NCW Life would not be possible without our sponsors. Special thanks to our platinum sponsor, Alpine Air. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue, family owned and operated on North Wenatchee Avenue, right next to Hooked on Toys. Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue uses only fresh ingredients handcrafted with love, including authentic Hawaiian barbecue and Japanese style ramen noodle soups. And the bubble teas will keep you coming back for more. Enjoy the culinary tour of the Pacific Rim with Hawaiian barbecue lunches and combo plate classics, as well as ramen noodle soups. Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue, enjoy their comfort food like you're one of the family. In Digital Media Arts Program, we learn about video production gear and editing by the combination of class projects and nonprofit work and employment. Over there. It makes things happen. Yeah. It's pretty magical. We work in the industry at the Wenatchee Road, NCW Life Channel, and the Town Toyota Center events. Every day we work with industry standard equipment for a hands-on learning experience. Eastmont leads it 51-27 here at the half. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Les Schwab. Having the right set of tires and wheels on your vehicle is just part of essential safety. Les Schwab takes your safety seriously. Stop by today. Also by Sangster Motors, family-owned and operated, home of the all-new electric Hummer pickup and SUV. And by Save Mart, shop smart, shop local, serving the Wenatchee Valley since 1962. Let me get you some scores uh, from throughout the NFL today. Yes, they're Saturday NFL games now. Indianapolis beat Pittsburgh at home today, 30-13. to Cincinnati won in overtime over Minnesota, 27-24. And Detroit... This is in the third, let's see, what is this, third quarter? Yeah, it looks like third quarter. 4-12 to go in the third quarter. Detroit leading at home against Denver, 28-7. Of course, the Seahawks 
back on the field on Monday night football against the Philadelphia Eagles badly needing a win lost four in a row first time in Pete Carroll's career at Seattle that they've lost four straight trying to snap that string Monday night 515 on ESPN and ABC we will take a break 90 seconds on the broadcast come back second half action straight ahead 51 27 all these months so far we'll get you the second half right away on the NCW live show Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a confident backseat driver, but mine's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab Tires. At Confluence Health, our mission is clear, to provide exceptional care for our community. We believe in health care that's personal and local because we're just like you, members of this great community. We are Confluence. Local care by and for our community. Local care by and for our community. Local care by and for our community. We are Confluence. Ready for second half action here on the NCW Live Channel, where the East Point Wildcats lead the Wenatchee Panthers 51-27. The Wildcats trying to win their first game of the Big Nine schedule here tonight. Now, these two teams will play again at the Town Toyota Center coming up in the uh, first week of January. Well, second full week of January. Check your local listings, as they say. But uh, that's a lot of fun. That's kind of a bonus game that's played at the Town Toyota Center. There will be other games going on. I believe Cashmere and Chelan will play, boys and girls. So uh, check the TownToyotaCenter.com to find out more about the schedule of high school hoops at the TTC. Eastmont basketball to start the second half. Tice Llewellyn out there along with uh, Luke Gale, Adrian Ruffin, Danny Hobson, and Mr. Whitehall, and a beautiful pass underneath. Ball blocked from behind. Here's a pass to Whitehall, and Nate will make the bucket. So he'll start the second half as Eastmont kind of finished up the first half, scoring. Perimeter play for Wenatchee now as they're out there with Torres, Bowen, Bromley. <laughs> Excuse me. Matheson out there as well. Pass inside for Bowen, cut off, double team, Torres, three, good. Boy, they needed that one badly. Did what Anchi to try to climb back into this one, trailing it now by 23 points, 53 to 30. Long pass underneath, ball knocked away from Matheson, or excuse me, Whitehall on the entry pass down there. As Bo or Bromley got a hand up, knocked it away. Eastmont basketball, 20 on the shot clock. Inbounds pass by Gale will come in to Llewellyn. Inside he'll go to Ruffins. Ruffins brought the ball down where everybody could get after it. Now they're going to call a hell ball. It's a good call by the official. So what you try to tell your bigs is not to bring the ball down where the little guys can get it. Because they will. Or like Nats at a summer picnic, picnic after your sandwich. Just don't do it. Torres has the ball in the corner on the perimeter. Bounce pass high post to Bromley. A little give and go, but the uh, go picked up by Tice Llewellyn. Another turnover by Wenatchee. Eastmont works the perimeter. Tice in the corner for three. Good. Splashdown for Tice Llewellyn. He's got 19 points of the ball game. Cross-court pass nearly tipped by Eastmont. Bowen looking at the three. Nope, he'll step inside the two and then pass it out for a three by Bromley. Missed it badly. Weak side rebound by Llewellyn. Runs it up the forecourt, goes down, passes it off to Ruffins. Ball fumbled around and saved in bounds, and it's right to Whitehall for Eastmont. He'll give it up to Gale. Gale bounce pass underneath to Ruffins. Cut off there. He'll shoot it. Miss it. Offensive rebound. Put back. No good. Whitehall will get some free throws. 50. Foul is whistled on Travis Torres. That's his third personal foul. First foul of our second half. Again, we'll have to be getting used to this with five team fouls per quarter, and then it resets after that come the next quarter. 
but once there's five, then it's two free throws. No more one and one in high school basketball. First free throw by Whitehall is no good. So he's 50% from the free throw line right now for Eastball. Second free throw by the big fella is good. So Whitehall with three in the second half. He's got nine in the ball game. Bowen brings the ball up. He'll drive past the defense. Triple team. Missed the shot. Off at the rebound. Put back no good. Rebound picked up by Gale. Gale nearly traveled with it. Was bailed out as he found somebody behind him. Now up ahead to Ruffins. His shot no good. Bunny's close in. Use the backboard, young fella. The ball goes out of bounds off of Eastmont. Will be Wenatchee basketball. Bromley will bring it inbounds. Eastmont will drop back and place just half-court defense. So they lead it by 27. Torres. He'll give it up to Matheson. Tate to Bowen. Zach works off a pick. Passes down in the corner. Lob pass out top to Torres. He fumbled it. Ball picked up by Llewellyn. Another turnover by the Panthers. Two down in the second half. Here's a drive by Gale. He's fouled and will get free throws. Pass, the foul was whistled on uh, Bowen. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul against Wenatchee here in this quarter. And it will be Gale at the free throw line. In the game for the Panthers, Mason Heeman. Wildcat free throw line, Luke Gale. So Mason Heyman comes in here for Wenatchee. One more free throw for Gale. Missed the first one. It's on the way and good. 58-30. Largest lead now. 28 points for Eastmont. Shot from the elbow is no good. Rebound defensive, and Eastmont quickly running the ball up. And again, uh, another free throw coming up. Two free throws for uh, Tice Llewellyn on the foul by Bowen. Back there is a lone man trying to stave off the attack here. Three fouls on the team now for Wadachi. As Tice will head to the line. This is the first free throw shot of the game, and the first one's no good. We're going to get a timeout taken by Wenatchee. It'll be a full timeout, so we'll take 60 on the broadcast as well. 58-30, East one on top. We're back after this on the NCW Life Channel. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the diagnostic doctor from Dix Heating and Air Conditioning. <laughs> Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing, and they service all major brands of HVAC units. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Well, after the Wenatchee timeout, he's want to free throws coming up. And one more to go for Tice Llewellyn. He missed the front end of two. Second one is on the way. This one also no good. Uh, we're going to get a lane violation here. No, a foul call on the rebound. And this is on uh, the Wildcats as Nate Whitehall evidently pushed off to get himself an advantage. He came up with that ball on the rebound, but apparently was uh, a little illegal in doing so. Torres to Bowen. Eastmont comes out on that press. Beautiful pass inside for the layup. Good by Torres. Five points for Torres in the quarter. Here's Whitehall for three. Good. Are you kidding me? The big man with the trade. He's got six in the quarter. 61-32. 
Another three-pointer. This time it's good for Bowen. So Zach Bowen with eight points. Whitehall down in the corner on the pass. Here's a shot by Llewellyn. It's good. Another three-pointer. Goodness gracious. Six in the quarter for Llewellyn. He's got 22 in the ball game. Here's a three for Wenatchee. It's no good. Rebound Llewellyn out top. Feeds it outside to Ruffins. Ruffins trying to jam it. Can't do it. Offensive rebound picked up by Gale. Outside it goes to Hobson. He'll shoot the three-pointer. Good. Damage to the deck of the frigate that is the Panther ship here tonight. 67-35. I have no idea what I'm talking about today. Panther basketball. 3.38 to go here in the third quarter, by the way. And a 32-point lead for Eastmont. Over and back. Turnover with Anchi. Jackson West comes in. Jet Llewellyn comes in for the Wildcats. So, too, does... Matthew Bender for Wenatchee here to the ball game. Checking. Number 23, Luke Hunsaker. Luke Hunsaker is in. Let's see who else checked in there. Oh, it looks like uh, number one, Zach Ritzke is in. Now we got a ball fumbled out of bounds area. Whitehall trying to get after it. The big fella goes crashing to the earth. And that was a 1.3 on the Richter scale. And uh, it's what Anchi basketball. Rare turnover for Eastmont. That's only their fourth of the ball game, by the way. First of the second half. Matheson on the drive. Stops. Gives it outside. Ooh, travel. Yep. A little extra step there taken by Hunsaker. Fourth turnover in the quarter by the Panthers. 16 unofficially here of the ball game. I will tell you that by the time these teams have played three times, the third time coming up in January, late January, I believe, that uh, would actually be a much better program than what we're seeing here right now. Ambrose Bissett will uh, somehow find a way. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Eastmont. We got a foot. No, what do we got? Apparently, not sure. Shot clock violation? Yeah, it must have been. Or kickball by the offense. So that goes over to the defense in that case. So it's a turnover. Drive, shot from two. Rims won't fall for Wenatchee. On uh, the shot that time around by Ritzke. He had a three-pointer in the first half. Here's the three-pointer by West. Rims won't fall. Offensive rebound. Here is the big fellow, Whitehall. Dribble, dribble, bucket. Nine in the quarter, four, or 15 in the ball game for Whitehall. There's a jumper from the elbow right extended. No good. Offensive rebound by Torres. He's got a new shot clock. He'll back it away. Work it around the perimeter to Ritzke. Ooh. Matheson wasn't looking there for a moment. He'll kick it outside for a three-pointer. Rims won't fall. Missed from outside by Hunsaker. Rebound defensive. Llewellyn, no-look pass in the corner for West. He'll try that three-pointer again. Miss it again. Rebound defensive for Wenatchee. Minute 45 to go here in the third quarter. All Wildcats here tonight on both sides, both the girls and the boys. Long pass to nobody. Ball picked up by Eastbawn. Another turnover. That's five in the quarter here for the Panthers. Outside it comes to West. West will dump it down inside. And uh, <laughs> a little no-look pass attempt by Whitehall underneath, and he'll turn it over. So getting a little fancy here are the Wildcats. Uh, they're into the floor. Substitutions here for Wenatchee. They'll uh, reach for the bench. Connor Cass will come in. He is listed on the junior varsity roster. He'll come out here and get some varsity time. Ball in the hands of Matheson out top to Torres. Bounce pass inside. Turn around uh, floater from about six. No good. Rebound defensive. Whitehall. Outlet pass. Eastmont in transition. Jumper from eight is no good. Rebound picked up by Wadanchi. Torres lobs it ahead. Here is the shot by Cass. It's no good. Ball tipped out of bounds. Will be Eastmont basketball. Under a minute to go, Adrian Ruffins will come back in and give a spell here to the big fellow, Whitehall.
Torres. I think everybody in the uh, Eastmont fan base hoping for a jam here from Ruffins. Ruffins gets the ball, turns, jumper, good. Adrian Ruffins says, no, no, I'll shoot from outside. That's his 14th points of the ball game. 35 seconds to go, 71-35. Inside it comes. Here's the drive. Swooping shot. Off balance, no good. Rebound saved inbound. Right to West. Ahead to Ruffins. Ruffins going to try to jam it. He'll be fouled before he gets the opportunity to do that. Cass trailing the play will draw the foul. We had to foul Austin Browning. That free throw line shooting two. I think they said 54 on the foul. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's Connor Cass. First free throw by Ruffins is good. So Ruffins, good night tonight here for Eastmont. Three in the quarter, 15 in the ball game for Austin. Or for Adrian, excuse me. Austin's doing other things now. <laughs> Missed the free throw, offensive rebound. Ball put back, and then it goes out of bounds off of Wenatchee. So even the bounces are going the Wildcats way tonight. 18.9 left in the quarter. Inbounds pass from Jackson West. Lobs it into Ruffins. Ruffins with a jump. Shot. Missed it. Rebound. Put back. Good. Five points in the quarter for Ruffins. Torres backs it away. <clears throat> Shot by Cass is partially blocked at the buzzer, and that'll be our final play of the period. And it is Eastmont running away with this one and hiding it for the holiday. 74-35, our score through three. Final quarter straight ahead after this one-minute timeout. You're watching Big Nine Basketball on the NCW Live channel. Introducing Alpine Airman. Because every home needs a superhero to eliminate poor indoor air quality, send inefficient operating equipment packing, and cut high energy bills down to size. For heating or cooling and equipment replacement, turn to the experts and the superheroes at Carrier and Alpine Air. We offer the best deals on high efficiency Carrier products, along with friendly, knowledgeable service and incredible savings to fit your budget. Imagine a science project being done on the kitchen table. Feel the excitement on Christmas morning as the kids race down the stairs to form memories that cannot be erased. Listen for the laughter coming from the next room. Put your family in a new home to make these visions become reality with Coldwell Banker Cascade. Use the move meter entering two cities and see how a potential move scores based on the cost of living and other factors. Make your dream place a reality with Coldwell Banker Cascade today. Eastmont basketball to start our final frame here as they lead it 74 to 35 over Wenatchee and they go to Ruffins. Ruffins turnaround shot no good. Rebound tapped. Picked up by Bowen defensively for Wenatchee. Trying to find some positives here. Bowen along two. Stepped on the arc. No good. Rebound defensive underneath. Picked up by the Wildcats. Outlet to Jet Llewellyn. He'll kick it out the corner. Now a long three, rims won't fall. Rebound picked up defensively by Wenatchee after the miss outside by Bender. Bowen to Matheson. Outside he'll come to Vargas. Vargas tried to get it inside to Bowen, but the ball knocked away. Picked up by Eastmont. Lob pass underneath to Ruffins. Ruffins turns, drives, and shoots. 19 points for Adrian Ruffins in the ball game. Bowen going to shoot the, nope, stepped on the line again. Missed the two. And a rebound foul, or they're going to call hell ball on the possession. It goes out to an Anchi. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, there's a, there was a question about possession arrow there. Eastmont had the ball to start the quarter, so the possession arrow should have flipped after the start of the quarter. So now when Anchi gets it, and as soon as they inbound it, the possession arrow will go to Eastmont. That's how she works. Pass in the corner is nearly knocked away. When Anchi saving it here, just out of sorts. Torres for a three. Good. Got the shooter's roll there. Only player in double figures for Wenatchee tonight is Travis Torres now with 11. 
West inside to Ruffins. Ruffins backs away, shoots the J, won't get it. Bowen rebound. Pretty good defense by Bowen on Ruffins there. Outside to Torres. Inside, out goes the Panthers. Matheson for two from the elbow. Good. Finn Matheson. A little pressure in the backcourt applied by the Panthers here. Eastmont able to break it. Here's a three from the corner by Jackson West. It's no good. Offensive rebound. Put back on the way. Good by Bender. Five points for Bender off the bench. Torres dribbles between the uh, defense, but then gave it up. Ball picked up by Bender. Lob pass ahead to Ruffins. He can't make the shot. He was too far into the glass, and the ball goes out of bounds. So another turnover in the books here for Wadanchi. Substitution for the Panthers. Back into the ball game comes David Heisem. 78-40 our score. 5.50 to go. 38 point differential. I think we were at 40 moments ago, so that's a running clock situation, I believe. Yes, the officials agree, so it should be a running clock from here on out. So this will be a quick finish to this one. Unless somebody takes a timeout, that would be the only thing to stop the clock or an injury. Here's a drive by Matheson, kick in the corner for Torres for three. Rims, rims, won't fall. Rebound volleyball picked up by Gale. Outlet pass, cross over court. They get it ahead. Spinning in the lane is Bender, but he traveled with it. Our broadcast here on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue. Authentic Hawaiian barbecue, Hawaiian loco moco plate, Japanese style ramen and bubble tea. Stop by at 1450 North Wenatchee Avenue today. Also by Together for Youth, encouraging you to dispose of unused and expired prescriptions to protect youth in the environment. Find a kiosk near you by visiting medproject.org. Inside, beautiful entry pass down low for a wide open look by Bromley. He'll get his first points since the first half. He's got six. Beautiful ball movement by Eastmont back the other way. West fumbled it, though. He'll get it back. He'll shoot the three-pointer from the left corner. It's an air ball. Weak side rebound by Bender. The shot clock still winding down with 12 on it. 4.35 on the game clock here again. A running clock here tonight in this one as Eastmont at one point gained a 40-point lead. And we've got, hold on. <clears throat> so they're going to say a shot clock violation on Eastbawn. So that goes as a turnover. But uh, first, was there a timeout? So possibly, possibly four seconds left, according to our officials, on the shot clock when the timeout was called for by the coach. So they're trying to figure that one out. There is a timeout on the floor. So we'll take a 30-second break as well. 425 left, 78-42. East one on top and in charge. We're back after this. The newest generation of GMC Sierra pickups offer the most advanced technology, the strongest selection of powertrain, and everything else you need to work hard, play hard, and explore the boundaries of the Wenatchee Valley and beyond. Take a look at the latest, most luxurious and durable trucks on the market. You will see why GMC is not your grandfather's pickup. You want a bet, kid? Four twenty-five left here in the ball game. Seventy-eight forty-two. The timeout was taken by Eastmont. There's only one tick left on the shot clock, so it's basically inbound and shoot in the same motion. And that's what happens, and it doesn't hit the rim, so it's going to be a shot clock violation. So it'll be a turnover. That'll be the fourth here of the second half, seventh unofficially of the ball game for Eastmont. They've done a great job all the way around tonight. Coach George Warrior has got to be awfully happy with the uh, Wildcats here tonight. Yeah. Going to get a foul called out top. Again, the clock is continuing to run here because of the earlier 40-point difference. The foul is on Jackson West. That's his first. Only the second foul of the second half for Eastmont. Only the first foul of the fourth quarter. We already had 40, so it keeps running no matter what. Once it 40. So Ambrose Brissett was wondering why the clock continues to run. If it if it gets under 40, why don't they stop it? Well, <clears throat> once it's at 40, they keep 
running the clock. Here's Daniel Snyder with a two. Good full stop and pop from the free throw line for Snyder. Pass underneath in the trees down low. He got needed some help and get away from the ferns. We got a foul call, a little help there for the foul, and this one is on Eastmont, and that's on Jet Llewellyn, that's his first. Inbounds pass comes in for a jumper, good, and that's Matheson. So he's got 10 points tonight for Wenatchee. So two players in double figures for the Panthers. Eastmont has the ball knocked out of bounds by Wenatchee. 80 to 44, clock continues to wind here. 2.47 left in this one. Inbounds pass comes in out top. This is Daniel Snyder who just had two. Now he's gonna try to add a three. He does not. Rebound picked up by Torres. Up ahead to Matheson. Looked at the three, won't shoot it, but uh, Torres will. He missed it. Rebound picked up out top by the Wildcats as Snyder came up with it. He has it down low, needs some help, feeds outside. Here's a three. Rims won't fall from way downtown, but shot by Kenyon. Wenatchee in transition now. Handed off, turns, shot by Bromley, no good. Kenyon rebound. He'll give it up to Jet Llewellyn. Off to Snyder. Daniel Snyder with two minutes to go. On the wing to Jet, lob pass underneath, turn, shot, no good, rebound defensive. Well, they're trying to get Kenyon a bucket here. <clears throat> Jake Devereaux working against Kenyon out top. Now gives it up to Bromley for the drive with the left hand and count the bucket and one. So give Jake Devereaux, excuse me. It was uh, Bromley with the bucket. He's got eight now, trying to make it a nine point night for him on the, <clears throat> excuse me. He missed the free throw. Rebound offensive by Torres. Torres kicks it out. They work it around the perimeter to Matheson. High post to Devereaux. Now for a three from Matheson. It's no good. Rebound touched by Eastmont. Goes out of bounds off of the Wildcats. 103 to go. Just a matter of uh, winding the last few sands out of the hourglass here to finish this one. We will have a postgame show here on the NCW Live Channel. Grab one of the Wildcats. I think it might be Tice Llewellyn. Devereaux, elbow. Torres gives it away. Another turnover for Wenatchee. And Eastmont gives it right back over <clears throat> as bodies fall on the ground. And hey, let's just continue to throw this ball away, shall we? <laughs> Six turnovers in the second half for Eastmont. Nine in the ball game unofficially. Nine turnovers here in the second half for Wenatchee. 21 unofficially in the ball game. With 21 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Eastmont can just work the ball around and not have to worry about anything else here tonight. <clears throat> As the Wildcats will come away with an 80 to 46 victory tonight over their Cross River rivals. The first of the three meetings will go the way of the Wildcats here tonight. Our broadcast brought you in part by Wenatchee Valley Technical Skills Center, a regional hub for career and technical education programs that equip high school age students with personal workplace and technical skills. Give them a call if you want to find out more at 509-662-8827. We will try to grab a Jet Lu or a Tice Llewellyn as well as head coach George Juarez coming up on the postgame show next here on the NCAA Live Channel. Hey man, how's your arm? Uh, getting better, actually, thanks. Did they give you anything for pain after surgery? Cause I think I may have some left over. Nah, that's all right, man. Actually, me and my doctor talked about not sharing prescriptions and that ibuprofen's a good option for me. The risk of addiction is not worth it. Makes sense. Take the next step. Don't share your prescriptions and talk to your friends about the dangers of opioids. At Kennedy Group, we understand that buying and selling is more than a transaction, and it's more than just a house. This is where you will gather with friends and family and where a lifetime of memories will be made. But buying a home is more than memories. Oftentimes, it's your biggest financial decision. 
The agents at Kennedy Group understand this and provide real estate advice based on your goals and dreams. Call us today and let's find your happy place. Merry Christmas and happy holidays from NCW Life Channel, your local TV station. We hope you're enjoying our holiday programming. From movies to your favorite music, we've got you covered. And while you gather with friends and family to watch NCW Life, we need to thank our platinum sponsor, Alpine Heating and Cooling, for helping us bring you these shows. Turn to the experts, Carrier and Alpine Air. Heat and air? Call Alpine Air. Highlander Golf Course is proud to announce their two new state-of-the-art full-swing golf simulators with over 80 courses of virtual golf to choose from year-round. Or try their laser shot simulated firearm program or gaming with football, basketball, and much more. Enjoy Highlander food and drink service from their full-service bar and grill in the comfort of their simulator room. Call the Highlander Pro Shop to book your time at 884-4653. That's 884-4653. When you call Vic's Heating and Air Conditioning, you're calling on 35-plus years of experience in the Wenatchee Valley. Spending extra time in your home, you may have discovered an unwanted aroma. Stinky feet, pets, who knows what. Call Vic's today about installing their Train Clean Effects Electronic Air Cleaner or a Ream Halo Ultraviolet Air Purifier. Either way, the air quality in your home will be improved. Proudly servicing all of North Central Washington, call 884-6444 today. Welcome back here on the postgame show on the NCW Live Channel after the East Mall Wildcats knock off the Wenatchee Panthers tonight by a score of 80 to 46. Running clock in the fourth quarter, and you're talking with Tyce Llewellyn now. You got to love it when you get ahead that much, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Just get the ball and run. Well, let's talk about that. I know your coach was not happy about what happened to Davis because they were able to get out and run on you guys. You turned the tables on that tonight. Was that something you thought you might be able to do? Yeah, we talked about it all week and just get the ball run, get good looks, put them in. How's that feel when you get that offense working like that where you get the ball quickly down the floor? Feels great. You know, we haven't really had offense this year. To get it go, it's, it's good. When you and your brother get on the floor at the same time, do you have that connection with him maybe that you might not have with other people? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Well, 22 points tonight for you, but, I mean, you guys were able to get scoring all around. That's got to feel good uh, offensively when you can share the ball, doesn't it? Yeah, especially going in the tournament, just get it going. Take a few does the next weeks. <laughs> well, best of luck the rest of the season. We'll see you guys plenty more, and uh, congrats on the win tonight. Thank you. You bet. Dice well and joining us here on the postgame show. We'll come back and talk with the head coach, George Juarez, as we continue on the postgame show coming up next on the NCW Life Channel. Global Car Care has the best customer service in the Valley. From the moment you walk in the door, their goal is to help you stay on the road. So you can keep doing what's important to you. Global Car Care certified ASE mechanics stand behind your automotive repairs. Hey, welcome back to Save Mart. What can we help you find today? Uh, we're looking for a mattress. Oh, right this way. we got a large selection. We have this pillow top here. Oh, comfortable. We have more to choose from down here. Oh. I think I have the perfect one over here for you. I guess we'll take this one. you find it at Save Mart. Welcome back here on the postgame show on the NCW Live Channel. Now visiting with George Juarez, head coach for Eastmont. Well, coach, you talked beforehand about how Davis got out and ran against you on Thursday. You turned those tables tonight. You know, uh, I had a couple of things. Was, one was, as we talked about, protect our possessions. The second one was a commitment to defense and transition because we haven't been doing that this year. And uh, it was a good game, and uh, we were able to get up and down a little bit quicker today. You got to the big fellas down low early on, and then, you know, Tice was able to collect 22 points. You get three players in double figures tonight. I know you love it when you share the ball like that. Yes. In fact, uh, I know at halftime, I think we had 17 assists, and uh, that was also a discussion point because uh, the other night we hardly had any. But Global Car Care has the best customer service in the Valley. 
From the moment you walk in the door, their goal is to help you stay on the road so you can keep doing what's important to you. Global Car Care Certified ASE Mechanics stand behind your automotive repairs. Hey, welcome back to Save Mart. What can we help you find today? Uh, we're looking for a mattress. Oh, right this way. We got a large selection. We have this pillow top here. Oh, comfortable. We have more to choose from down here. Oh. I think I have the perfect one over here for you. I guess we'll take this one. You find it at Saver. Full service at a low, low price. Well, sorry if we lost you there during our uh, interview with the coach or the player. We uh, got a plug. But we're plugged back in now and we're wrapping up the broadcast. The Eastmont Wildcats got the Wenatchee Panthers tonight, 80 to 46. We mentioned 22 points for Tice Llewellyn, 19 points for Adrian Ruffins, and 14 points for tonight for Nate Whitehall. Meanwhile, the Panthers were led by the 10 points from Finn Matheson and 11 from Travis Torres. But it was all Eastmont tonight as they uh, went it wire to wire and collect the 80 to 46 win. The first game of the night saw Eastmont girls also get a win tonight, 66 to 34 over the Wenatchee Panthers. This is going to wrap it up for our broadcast here tonight. Thanks to everybody involved with this broadcast and with uh, the entire year here on the NCW Life Channel. It's been an active one, an eventful one, and we hope you hang around for a new year and a new season of more basketball here on the NCW Life Channel, your local TV station. On behalf of our entire crew, I'm Eric Granstrom. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas, and thanks for watching. Monahan baseline jumper from six. Good. Thanks for watching live sports on the NCW Live channel. Tonight's basketball action has been brought to you in part by our platinum sponsor, Alpine Heating and Cooling in Wenatchee. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Our gold sponsor, Town Auto Group. Sponsorship also includes Abby's Pizza, Apple Valley Honda, Biosports Physical Therapy, Clean Air Connection, Coldwell Banker Cascade. Confluence Health, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Inland Northwest Honda Dealers, Kennedy Real Estate Group, Les Schwab, Sangster Motors, Save Mart, Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue, Together for Youth, and the Wenatchee Valley Technical Skills Center. This concludes this live broadcast on the NCW Live Channel. We now return you to normal programming already in progress. Three point line. No, it isn't. It's a three, and it's good.